This is how you can make an add emoji command for discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining my channel memberships. If you get the super god or custom bot tier on YouTube, you'll get access to that source code, and over on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code, and over on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, you will get access to a custom coded bot by my staff team. If any of this is interesting to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started and with that let's go ahead and get into the video so in the code we can go to moderation and we're going to go ahead and create add emoji.js we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder we can get our embed builder and we can get our permissions bit field and then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js then we can do module.exports equals we can open this up we're going to do data and that's going to be new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be add emoji we can go ahead and set description to adds an emoji to the server and then we can go ahead and add an attachment option so we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be emoji and then we can do dot set description and we can say the emoji you want to add to the server and then we can do dot set required and we're going to make this true and we can do add string option and we're going to do option arrow function option dot set name and we can get our name and we're going to do dot set description and we can say the name of the emoji and then we can do dot set required and we're also going to make that true we can do comma async execute we can do interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has we can do permissions bit field dot flags dot manage emojis and stickers then we can return wait interaction dot apply and we can say content and then we can say you don't have perms to add emojis here and we can go ahead and make this informal as well then we can do const upload equals and we're going to get interaction dot options dot get attachment and that is going to be emoji and we can do const name equals interaction dot options dot get string and that is going to be name and we do await interaction dot reply and we can say content and then you can go ahead and get an emoji or you don't have to i'm going to put that in there and i'm going to say loading your emoji this is like deferring a reply but we're actually going to go ahead and control the amount of time it takes uh, this helps the emoji process a little bit better so we can do const emoji equals await interaction dot guild dot emojis dot create and we can do attachment and that is going to be our upload dot attachment and we we can do comma name and that is going to be our name variable and we're going to go ahead and catch an error and we can open this up we're going to do set timeouts and we can open this up as well we're going to go ahead and set this timeout to 2000 milliseconds or two seconds we can console.log our error and the reason we're doing this is when you're developing or just if you are looking in your console you always want to be able to see any errors you're getting then we can do return interaction edit reply and we can say content and we can say error raw error then we can do dot name so now we can actually come out of that emoji here and we can set another timeout and we can go ahead and open this up this time we're actually going to go ahead and set this to 3000 milliseconds a little bit different here we're going to say if no emoji we're just going to go ahead and return then we can say const embed equals new embed builder we're going to go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say your emoji has been added and then we can go ahead and pass in our emoji variable just to send that emoji within the embed then we can do interaction dot reply and we can say content and we're going to leave that blank and then we can do comma and we're going to do embeds and we can pass in our embed variable just like that. All right, and with that, we are actually done with the add emoji command. One other thing that we're gonna change here is instead of doing dot name, we're actually gonna do dot message. So with that, we can actually go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over in our Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out by doing slash add emoji. Now we have a upload here and we also have a name string. So for our upload, you can either drag the images on from your desktop or you can actually go ahead and click it. If you click it, you can open up one of your files and I'm just gonna go ahead and check our errors first. So I'm gonna upload a very big file file here we can do test or whatever and we can go ahead and send it it's going to say loading my emoji with this emoji here and as you can see it's going to give me our error failed to resize asset below to the minimum size we can go ahead and test this again so we're going to do add emoji this time we can get an emoji that is not the correct file type we can do test and we'll go ahead and send that as you can see, it's going to go and load. And then once it's done, it actually added it this time. So that was the correct file type. I guess that worked. So it does add the emoji to the server. Now we can test a another time. So this time we'll get a GIF that is the correct file size and type. And we can do check or something like that. And as you can see, it's going to go in and load. And once it's done loading, it's going to go and say your emoji has been added to the server. And we can check this here. Uh, a lot of emojis in this server, but we have a bunch of server manager logos. And we have our check emoji right here. So that's how you can code and add emoji command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we will be happy to help you and might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community
community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.